At last, she's outrun the attack dogs of Colonel Gaddafi. They'd mauled her, then for six weeks they'd hounded her, snarled at her, threatened her. Armed guards now assigned to protect Eman al obeidi just in case. For she is a symbol of stubborn defiance, a woman who dared to take on a brutal regime. In rebel-held eastern Libya, they call her Eman Kalba al-Assad, Eman, the Lionheart. One day in late March, she burst into the lives of astonished foreign journalists in a Tripoli hotel. As secret police, some posing as waiters, called her a traitor and tried to silence her, she claimed she'd been kidnapped and gang-raped by Gaddafi's militiamen. They have violated my honor, she yelled. Waitresses tried to restrain her. Those who tried to protect her were kicked and punched. Cameras were smashed. The brawl spilled into the lobby. A government minder drew a gun. At that moment, I was so frightened. If they were not scared of the journalists and cameras and the whole world watching, then what would stop them killing me? But I was satisfied that at least I had created a scandal. As state security men dragged her past the cameras, she showed journalist cuts and bruises she claimed she'd sustained in her ordeal. Again, they tried to silence her. How are you going with her? And you know, I remember so clearly that moment in which they shoved you into that car and they screamed out of the front gate and you disappeared. It was unbelievable. Where did they take you? When they took me off in the car, they were driving really fast and I was so scared. They didn't take me anywhere, they just drove around the city. They bought me some new clothes and said they would take me to Libyan State TV and told me to change my story. They wanted me to say that the journalists had got it wrong and it was actually the rebels who had kidnapped me. I was bold and I refused, so they took me to jail. For three terrifying days and nights they interrogated her, she says, cajoling her to recant. She was deprived of sleep. The Libyan government and state TV declared her drunk, deranged, a traitor, a fantasist and a prostitute. Even a whore would be patriotic when she knows her nation's in danger. Even a whore. Government doctors did concede that Eman al obeidi had been raped, but the regime continued to disparage her account. Now she's fled Libya, she can recount her ordeal without fear. This is the first time that you have really been able to speak freely. Can you bear it if I ask you just to tell me what actually happened? There were many of them, so I couldn't really get an accurate number, but I think there were 12 or 15 men. I was kidnapped from a checkpoint, from a taxi. They took me to what seemed like a farm. My hands and my legs were tied and for two days I didn't get any food or water. I was not allowed to use the toilet. They took turns to rape me. They tortured me, beat me and pulled my hair. Eman al says she was targeted because she was from rebel-held eastern Libya. Her accent and her ID card betrayed her. Rape as a weapon of war. They asked me, where are the men from the East? Let them come and see what we do to their women. Let them see how we rape their women and humiliate them. They want to take revenge because I'm from the East. Nothing more, nothing less. They were drunk. I don't want to put you through this again. I'm sorry if I... I've asked the wrong question. I don't want to put you through this again. They smelt like animals and they looked horrible. They didn't have any humanity. And they kept saying, we are Gaddafi's men, we will stay in power. They were swearing and using bad words. While they raped me, I told one of them that I recognized him. I asked him, why are you doing this to me? You know me and you know my family. He said, f*** you and f*** your family. Let me tell you something, he said. You're not going to leave here alive. You're going to die here.
Eman al Obeidi is damaged and fragile, emotionally wrecked after weeks of stress as the regime shamelessly vilified her. Exposing the brutal reality of life under Gaddafi has cost her dear. She cannot go back to Libya. Even the East won't be safe. She's tormented by all that has happened and does not feel lion-hearted. Jonathan Miller, Channel 4 News, Qatar.